we as a community need to embrace the placebo effect as opposed to saying, no, 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 my HGH gel really works. It's not a placebo effect. I say shit, it's the placebo effect plus some. Hi, my name is Dr. Duck Wong. I'm a world famous bariatric surgeon. I'm a weight loss expert as well as an author. I've authored 12 books with three more in the pipeline on the way. Um, and I'm a Somoderm Gel uh, representative as, uh, not representative, but a distributor. I actually don't work for the company. I, I am a distributor, however. So what I'd like to do is tell you today about the placebo effect. And uh, if you're watching this, I hope you'll take some notes because I wanna give you some really good, useful information that then you can share with your downline or other prospective um, customers, all right? So, have you had this problem before where someone has said, oh man, I don't wanna use the HH gel because it's nothing but a placebo effect. I'm gonna tell you something about life real quick. People love to throw around shit terms that they have no clue what they're talking about. Is that true? Give me some hearts if you know that's true. People like to talk shit and they don't even know what they're saying. So one of the words that they like to use a lot is placebo effect and they have no idea what that really means. So here's what I want to tell you about the placebo effect really quickly uh, and this will be really useful for you, all right? so. What the placebo effect really means is that um, we know for a fact that your mind is very powerful and that if you believe something strongly enough that you can make, um, it will affect your outcomes, okay? So in terms of medicines or any product that people use, if you think it's gonna have, if you think it's gonna work on you, then more likely it's, it will work on you. The classic example of a placebo effect in medicine is what they call the sugar pill, right? And you've probably heard about sugar pills where um, uh, people, uh, doctors will give patients a sugar pill and say, hey, take this medicine and it really will help you. And then they have another group where they actually give the medicine and say, take this medicine, it will really help you. And both groups will take the medicine and both groups will have a benefit they will feel a result, okay? So the people with the medicine, it doesn't matter what the medicine is, it could be an antidepressant, it could be a pain pill, it could be a blood pressure medicine. They take it and they'll have a result from the real medicine. Now, interestingly enough, people who take the sugar pill will also have an effect, all right? For purposes of demonstration, let's say um, we're gonna talk about blood pressure medicine. And the person who has, who's trying the actual new pill, they have a decrease in their blood pressure of let's say, you know, 15 points. Let's say they went from a blood pressure of 160 systolic above, that's a top number, down to 140, that's 20 points, right? Uh, that's a normal, like anything below, you know, we say 140 over 80. Um, and then the placebo effect, uh, they take it and their blood pressure it started at 160, they take a sugar pill, and now it will go down to like 150. Um, and what we compare then is the difference, right? So the actual drug had a 20 point difference versus the sugar pill had a 10 point difference. Um, and you subtract the two, and the way statistics works is that number will be statistically significant. So that means that the, the actual pill actually worked. Okay, here's a problem with that. Well, a lot of people discount the placebo effect, right? They'll say, well, it was all in your head, all in your brain. Like, no, who cares? You had an outcome, it worked, all right? So what happens is when you start telling people about the HGH gel, they'll say, it's nothing but a placebo effect. My point is, yeah. I want it to be a placebo effect. I want some placebo in there because that really boosts your result. So if you believe it's a placebo effect, then you are guaranteed a result. Think about that, right? If you believe that HGH is nothing but a placebo effect, my response to you is that you're guaranteed to feel a difference. Uh-huh. 
Does that make sense? So it will help you with your sleep. It will help you with your joint pain if you believe it's a placebo effect. So what my point is, people don't understand that the placebo effect just means that it's a difference between the actual drug and the placebo and the, the placebo effect, right? So this gap is what you're actually measuring when you're trying to determine whether or not a drug really works, okay? It's not baseline. Baseline's down here, placebo effect is here, actual drug is up here. You're only measuring these, the difference between these two, not from the ground. Does that make sense? So you want every drug to have some form of placebo. As a surgeon, we do crazy ass shit in surgery, right? We do placebo surgeries. They've done placebo knee surgeries where they don't actually do your like knee repair. They just like make a couple skin incisions, show a video, they do the whole same thing, right? And they will show that people who had a placebo knee arthroscopy has results. And they will have significant results. They didn't have their knee repaired, but they will sit there, they'll like, doc, my pain's gone. I'm playing basketball again. So the question is, does that discount the effectiveness of the surgery? My answer is hell no. If I'm the patient who had the placebo effect, I want that result. You want the outcome. So as distributors, as people who are interested in the gel, we as a community need to embrace the placebo effect as opposed to saying, no, 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 my HGH gel really works. It's not a placebo effect. I say shit, it's the placebo effect plus some. Has this been valuable? You see what I'm saying? You want a strong placebo effect plus some. It's the plus some that they're arguing about, but the average person thinks the placebo effect is a negative and it's not. It's a positive, you want a big ass placebo effect plus a big ass uh, positive response. Does that make sense? So here's tip number one. You are looking for people with strong placebo mentalities. By that I mean they really believe the drug is going to help them. They really believe the HGH gel is gonna help them. I want patients, I'm a weight loss surgeon, I want patients who believe that the weight loss surgery is really going to help them, okay? That means they're more likely to have a positive result from my weight loss surgery. If I'm giving a patient an antidepressant, I really want them to believe that the antidepressant is really going to work. I want a strong-minded placebo effect, okay? This is very different than what most of you guys understand about the placebo effect and what most people um, believe about it. They're, 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 you guys are going the wrong way about it. Don't argue against the placebo effect before the B for F O R the placebo effect. You want placebo effect. Okay, well, is that helpful? Give me some comments if you like that. Is that helpful? You guys watching me, I want you to start spreading the word. We want a strong placebo effect. We don't want to argue against the placebo effect. So let's get our Somaderm family, our HGH gel family to change, to shift this perspective because I promise you, we are the only crazy ass motherfuckers distributors company that will do that because every other MLM is arguing against it, right? Every Every vitamin, every other, every vitamin company, every supplement company, every protein powder company is trying to argue against the placebo effect, saying, no, our, our drug, our supplement makes a difference. But we're going to say, at least Dr. Vong's going to say, hell yeah, it's a placebo effect, and it's a strong placebo effect, so you're guaranteed results. Plus, if you take it, the product still works, so you're going to have an even higher result. Yes? Does that make sense? The other company, here's the, here's the groundwork. This is how bad someone feels. We want a strong placebo effect so we have a longer distance, plus you're gonna add to that the result from our gel. So super powerful, so you have a much larger result. 
companies that argue against the placebo effect, here's the groundwork, they want to start at the same level as the groundwork and now all they're going to add to it is the positive effect of their product. I say fuck that shit, like I want the full big ass effect including the placebo. That's number one. Here's number two tip. There's, a, there's the opposite of the placebo effect is also true. Now who knows the opposite of the placebo effect? The opposite is something actually called the nocebo effect. N-O-C-E-B-O C -E -B -O effect. It's the opposite. And by opposite, I mean if you don't think it's going to work, then it's more likely not to work. The nocebo. See, all these average, broke-ass, cynical people argue about the placebo effect and they don't even stop to consider or they don't even know the existence of the nocebo effect. The nocebo effect is much worse. The nocebo effect is much worse. I'm a weight loss surgeon. So I don't want patients who think that the surgery is not going to work on them because let's say this is the, the baseline. A nocebo is down here. A placebo is like, yeah, I think this will work. A nocebo is like, no, man, I'm hard. It's hard for me to lose weight. I, like, I don't feel, I don't get results. I can't make money. It's hard for me to make money. I, I can't sell. You don't want these people. Tip number two, you don't want the nocebo people. Run away. So here's the problem. Everybody in the network marketing industry, all of you, you guys are too caught up trying to convince the nocebos that your product really works. Amen? Give me some amens. Give me some hearts because you know that shit's the bomb. All of you guys are running around trying to convince your negative uncle, your fat aunt, your negative best friend that this is going to work for them. Don't do it. It's a nocebo. They, it won't work. Even if it worked for them, let's say they're nocebo down here, and then they get up to here, they'll say stuff like, well, my dreams got a little bit better, my sleep got a little bit better, but I didn't have any of the crazy effect that everybody else is feeling. Even though they had a really good positive effect compared to where they were, they're not going to give you any credit. They're not going to buy your gel. They're not going to evangelize for the product. Nocebo. Avoid the nocebo. Put some nocebo in the comments for me. Okay? This is very powerful. I don't want nocebo patients. I don't want people who think Dr. Vaughn losing weight for me has been really hard. Um, and, then and then here's the thing about nocebo people. They'll like blow smoke up your ass. So they'll be like, but Dr. Vong, I hear you're the best. So I'm going to take a chance on you. And, and, if, and I know that you know, if you can change me and help me, then, then, I'll, then I'll be your poster child. I don't want that patient. They're blowing smoke up my ass. I can't. I, it's hard enough trying to change me. Amen. It's hard enough trying to be Dr. V. I can't change you. I don't want to. Right? So, we are going to avoid nocebos, negative people. Don't waste your time trying to give it, convince them anymore. Go for low hanging fruit. Go for the placebo people, the positive people. Here are the placebo people. They're like, man, like, I'm, uh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started. I really need, like, uh, I need this product. It's gonna be awesome. Here's another one. This is a placebo. I'm super sensitive. You want these people. I'm, I'm really sensitive to drug effects. Like I can, if I take half a dose of a pain pill, I'm out. You want those people. See, we run, like typically we run away from those people because they tend to complain. But they're not complaining in a negative way. They're complaining in a positive way. It's just how we frame it, right? Like, oh my God, I can't sleep at night. Those, that's a placebo person. I've been taking the gel and I can't get my, myself to sleep at night. That's a good person. 
You go, yeah, back off on the dose. That means you're super sensitive. I like you. I like you as a distributor or a customer. Our job is to kind of work them through that. And then once, once they get the dosing right, dude, they evangelize for you. Does that make sense? So a nocebo person, now don't confuse me now. Don't get confused. A nocebo person will say, you know what? I think that the HGH gel is bullshit and it's all placebo effect. Just because they use the word placebo effect doesn't mean that they're a placebo person. That person is actually a nocebo person. They really don't believe that the product will work for them. Does that make sense? Avoid that person. Don't try to convince them that it's a nocebo, that it's, you know, don't try to change their mind. Just go walk, walk away, okay? Go somewhere else. You want to cultivate Maybe this is tip number three. Cultivate relationships with positive-minded people who believe in the placebo effect. I'm sensitive. This will work on me. I love stuff like this. I can't believe this opportunity is available. I'm ready to go running. You want to cultivate that relationship and then you want to avoid the nocebo people. Um, this won't work. Uh, I'm tough. My body's different. I've had trouble sleeping for years. Like I've tried stuff like this before and it never works on me. Um, you don't understand. I'm a special case. We're all fucking special cases, right? Right? So three tips right there. People don't, number one, people don't understand the placebo effect. The placebo effect is a good thing. As a distributor myself, I will, I embrace the placebo effect. I encourage us as a company, as a community to be like, hell yeah, we are placebo effect plus some. We, our product is the plus some, right? Placebo effect people tend to be more positive, more eager, um, and have better results. Number two, you want to avoid the nocebo people. Um, be, uh, understand what the nocebo is. It's bad for you. Avoid them. Uh, tip number three, cultivate placebo people and avoid nocebo people. Cool? That's it for my talk. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back on a regular basis to do these. Videos.